All right, guys, so next thing we need to do is measure one inch from the end of this T fitting this direction. There, there we go. Measure one inch right there. We'll do the same on the bottom side. Okay, if you had a drill, you could go ahead and drill those dots out. But I'm going to do it the lazy way. Got my soldering iron here with a skinny tip on it. This old beat up soldering iron. It's already hot. So all we got to do is plunge it straight in at the dot. you burn a hole through there you can see now we'll do it on the bottom side what we're going to do is we're going to start up here and drill down into it when you're doing this you want to make sure that it's that the screws going straight up and down actually I'm gonna to have to hold on to it I think take that off okay so once you get the screw started go ahead and drive it all the way down And it'll stiffen up once it hits the other hole inside. But just keep on driving it through. And be careful holding it like this because that screw, once it comes through on the other side, will be hot from the friction. Ooh, that thing's hot. Let's go down until it stops, and there you go. So now we can put this handle back in. And remember, we're not gluing that one, and we'll show you why later. Now it's time to paint. Okay, so first we're just going to lightly dust it, do a tack coat. Now we're just going to let that sit for a few minutes. Never had a can of spray paint do that to me while I was holding it. Okay, that looks good. We'll go ahead and let that dry and come back to it later. Now that the paint's dry, we can go ahead and screw on our um, a smartphone tripod mount to the bottom here. Now what you want to do is calibrate your screw that the tripod mount screws onto to where it's tight when it gets to the end of the threads. You want it tied up against the uh, mount here. And if it's not tight, what you can do is unscrew this a little until it gets to that proper tightness. It is ready to go. The cool thing about it is you've got your right thumb free to hit your shutter button when you're ready to shoot. To show you why we did not glue this handle right here. You can twist it over. Now you've got a pistol grip along with two other handles here just for more stability. If you've got pets or little kids running around, you can hold it like this and hold it down closer to the ground easier. And you can just go ahead and take that completely off if you like. Now you've got just a double handle stabilizer right there.
you can also do something like this take it a couple steps further on this one I wrapped jute twine around each handle that way I've got a less sticky softer grip and I also zip tied a couple of uh, cheap flashlights to the top of it here these flashlights were free at Harbor Freight with a coupon so those didn't cost anything they do work they're not spectacular but they do add quite a bit more light to the flash on the uh, G6 here hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video go ahead and leave a thumbs up for me and uh, subscribe if you want I'll have more videos in the future thanks